this is a picture of an entire muscle broken down to one protein in a muscle. So let's start with the bone. Uh, so this here is the outline of some bone. I don't know. Do you want it to be the femur or something like that? Um, this outline right here that I'm going to make, we're going to call that the periosteum which is continuous with what starts to become the tendon. Tendons connect muscle to bone. Ligaments connect bone to bone. Tendons are made of dense, regular connective tissue. Don't be afraid to go look at the um, Miro board for pictures of dense, regular, and dense, irregular. Okay, this here, this entire thing is the entire muscle. And we consider this muscle to be an organ. So for example, if this is the humerus, then this entire muscle might be the bicep. So this is the whole muscle. And the muscle is surrounded by the epimyceum. Myceum is a suffix that means muscle. <laughs> Just blank there for a moment. And epimyceum, it means on top of or around. And this wraps the entire muscle. And yes, you can color this whole thing in if you want. What I have here that I'm coloring in right here is a little flap of the epimyceum that's been pulled back to show you that the epimyceum wraps the entire muscle, but to also let you know that there are smaller components within the epimyceum. So these big chunks, these big circles that I'm circling right here, and this one that has been pulled out so we can see it, these are all called facicillies. And these are covered by the paramyceum. So whereas the epimyceum covers the entire muscle, the paramyceum covers one facicillary. And we can color those in as well. But this isn't where we stop because a facicillary is just a bundle of muscle cells. And we know that we call muscle cells muscle fibers, or if you didn't know that, now they, now you do. <laughs> okay, so what we have here is this that I'm drawing here in the purple is called the endomyceum, and it wraps one entire muscle fiber. So let's do a couple different things here before we fill in all of the details. The endomyceum wraps one muscle fiber. And the word muscle fiber is what we call skeletal muscle cells. So an individual cylinder shaped cell is what the epimyceum covers. And I'm just gonna color in a bunch of these. These little dark circles right here, these are nuclei that end up getting pushed to the outside of a muscle fiber because what is in a muscle fiber is this little thing right here, which is a cylinder shaped protein. And this little thing right here is called a myofibril. It does not have its own covering kind of but it's just one protein. And there are tons of these inside an individual muscle fiber. So let's go back. Let's realize that the endomyceum is not the cell membrane, but it is a wrapping of one muscle fiber. Let's also realize that the muscle fiber is a cell and that it is full of many myofibrils. 
So we can actually draw in a couple other myofibrils in here. Oh, and we can color this in too. So a couple other things that I did not mention is that a skeletal muscle can only contract upon direction from the brain, here's your brain, and spinal cord. And it's connected to those, of, of course, by nerves. Oh, this, this would be the spinal cord down here. <laughs> this would be the brain up here. Your book uses various colors for neurons, but there is a neuron that begins in your brain, travels down your spinal cord, and then reaches out and innervates your skeletal muscle. And that's what these little circles are right here. And of course, we can also draw the little circles um, within a facility as well as within the entire muscle. What these other circles are right here are arteries and veins. So muscular tissue, at least skeletal muscle tissue, is innervated and vascularized. And it's the epimyceum, paramyceum, and endomyceum that prov provide a route of travel for the nerves. So for example, I could have a nerve branching off and innervating the epimyceum that nerve would also innervate the paramyceum, and then that nerve would also reach out and touch a muscle fiber by innervating the endomyceum.